What's going on guys? My name is Dan Davis and I'm the creative director here on danstube.tv and today I'm unboxing the brand new Aero Pro. I will have some more content on the channel very soon for the Aero Pro, but I just thought that I would unbox the redesigned system here. So we've got a brand new camera system, brand new gimbal from my understanding, and um, they've redesigned it just to ensure that as it launches, it has everything that you need. So lovely packaging, as you can see, as we open this up, we get a very nice case here. And I can see the camera system does look different to the original camera system that I checked out. The bag itself looks very similar. It's a very heavy duty bag. It has some little um, strap options that are built in inside and you can attach them and have it as like a sling bag. But as we open this up, you can see it says Aero on the front there, nicely packaged. And then we've got a bunch of different compartments. So this looks very similar. Looks like we've got an Aero sticker there. We've got some additional props and screws. We've got a screwdriver, some cables, a bunch of accessories, which is uh, very nice indeed. And I like these little compartments here. So this middle one's got a Velcro option. The other two are more of an elastic option. And as we open up this compartment at the front here, we can see that we've got some other accessories by the looks of them. So this has got a little zipped off section here. Oh, it looks like we've got a landing pad. Cool. So we've got a landing pad by the looks of it. Let's just make sure. Yep, so we get a nice landing pad in there, which is a very thoughtful addition. And then in this little compartment here, we've obviously got some paperwork here, the user manual, which looks like quite a heavy duty user manual. And then we've got the, all the attachment pieces, all the mounting pieces basically, so you can um, mount up your fishing wire or mount up something for delivery, whatever it may be. These are all the different mounting options. Looks like a relatively heavy duty wire, which I would imagine it would have to be to carry the kilogram payload that it's uh, rated at. But that's a nice little surprise in there, and that's a huge space to be able to store some additional stuff in there. So cables, other paperwork, maybe a flight log, battery log. You know, you might want to take some other knickknacks and accessories. You could even put like a little camera in there, action camera in there, bunch of storage. So that's the first thing I noticed straight away. There's a bunch of additional storage options. And then as we flip this over, this looks very similar to when I initially unboxed it. We've got the controller here that says Aero. It's a nice heavy duty controller. It's got a decent amount of weight to it. And that's what that looks like. You got the antennas that flip up like so. The two sticks, as you'd expect, they are not detachable thumbsticks, but in the case itself, in the bag, you can put it in with the sticks on, so that's not a major issue. We've got the payload release button on top. So this is the controller here. It's a nice controller. Buttons feel nice. Uh, the light up options here, the little lights are very bright. I love that blue and black that stands out. And then there's a little pull. So you pull that and then that's where you mount in your phone. Um, that's a nice little option there. The thumbsticks definitely are screwed in, are they? Oh no, you can detach them. There you go. So you can unscrew them, but you do have the option to just leave them on and it will just fit in the case like so. The antennas are quite long, so that's going to give you that extra range. Feels pretty heavy duty. Feels quite nice and um, yeah, decent build quality on it. Let's just go to the drone because I know that's why you're here. This drone is so impressive. Like the build on this thing is insane. It has a decent weight to it, but it can handle some insane conditions. So crazy high winds, it can handle really anything. And I'll dive into this deeper in my, uh, my full review, but heavy duty battery. So it's got great battery life on it. It can handle some insane wind conditions. It's um, also like weatherproof as well. Like you can see that it's, uh, built in a way that it can handle just a little bit of um, of kind of sea splash because I guess this is designed for fishermen right or fisher women fisher people let's call it and it can handle anything so you're going to have some sort of like sea splashing up potentially and it's built in a way that it's nice and secure that it is going to be able to handle that it's obviously not designed to be submerged in water or completely drenched but it is a weatherproof body which is very nice uh, we've got a sim option on the back so there's a sim card slot We've got a light underneath. We've got some other sensors. Looks like there's a little fan here. 
and then we've got the little option which is going to be the little hook that's going to hold the the wire as you fly out and then there's a button to release it and then it's going to release to drop your payload so really nice design i'll bring it a little closer so you can see it so this is the drone here very heavy duty drone love that black aesthetic it's almost like a matte finish on it you can see how large the batteries are they are huge batteries and in this kit here i do have the two batteries which is very nice you can see it's a green light instead of the blue light which is interesting that they haven't matched the blue and blue or green and green we've got green here and blue on the controller and then the camera which i'm very keen to see because this is the redesigned camera system this is what we can expect from the camera it's a teeny tiny camera in comparison to the size of this drone really when we look at it but they have promised me that they have improved the gimbal they've improved the camera as well it's apparently a redesigned system so it's looking slightly different to what i remember from the original one that i got and just the wingspan of this guy is huge. It can handle some crazy, crazy wind conditions. Doesn't fold, as you can see. Here's underneath what you can expect. That's where the wire connects up here, and then it kind of releases and tightens. Great design. We've got some other little flaps here, and that's going to be for, I would imagine, a cable. The front looks very clean. It's a nice design. It's a heavy-duty drone, and it fits perfectly into the case like so. It doesn't fold away, but you don't need it to with this awesome case. And uh, yeah, that's what you can expect from the Aero Pro drone. We've then got a spare battery in the kit that I've got here. So you can put an extra battery there if you ordered another one, or I could just take it out of here and have the two battery slots. And then we've got two boxes. It's all branded with Aero, which is very nice. I do love the name Aero, very Australian. We've got some other cables. We've got USB-A to USB-C. We've got the strap, and that's for the bag. So that's an additional thing I can connect on and turn this into a bag instead of that briefcase design. And then there's one more final box in here, and this would be for the charger by the looks of it. So a heavy duty charger, got four different ports here or placements. If I got some extra batteries, I could charge four batteries. Um, yeah, nice setup here. So that's what you can expect from the Aero Pro. That's my unboxing of it heavy duty system here it really is a heavy duty system that's the bag this is the box here doesn't actually detail much on the box doesn't tell you any of the specs but it gives you two images of the drone in two different layouts this is the case just like so just as that kind of briefcase design which is probably what i'll use the majority of the time and like i showed you there's some straps or there is a strap sorry not straps a singular strap that you can connect on either side here and then use it as like a throw of your shoulder kind of bag this looks like a really impressive drone high quality nice build on it and i uh, can't wait to see how it flies and how it performs anyway guys thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe stay tuned to the channel and i will have my review of the aero pro very soon peace out